Hey there everyone, my name is Dimitri and in this video we're gonna dive into a app that I'm a big fan of. I heard about this app a couple months ago when they reached out to me, but Scrintle is a amazing application that serves researchers, advanced students, executives, entrepreneurs, consultants, authors, software devs, and anyone tackling complex things. This platform empowers users to capture and connect ideas visually, simplifying complex thoughts and enabling persuasive content creation. Scrintle offers a zero learning curve immediate productivity and structured knowledge accessibility system and Scrintle stands out for its simplicity and unique features making creative thinking and knowledge management really easy so for me I just want to let you know this is sponsored by Scrintle however I do think the product is really cool I'm excited to dive in how I'm gonna do my yearly goal planning in here because I use notion I'm sure you're familiar with that cue a million videos that I've made it's not a million it's a couple hundred but well notions awesome I don't like the lack of visual components when it comes to planning with it you know making things easy to look at from a board standpoint, spreading it out, not really a thing, right? If I wanted to whiteboard it, I couldn't do it digitally with Notion. However, with Scrintle, I'm absolutely able to do that. And with the new year, I have some big goals for my business and I'd like to write out those professional goals as well as personal ones in a much better platform. So if you just take a look at what Scrintle is, this is the My Desk section, which is essentially a like home whiteboard. But what I wanna dive into specifically is my board. So we have a couple of different boards here and I'm gonna create a new one and I'm just gonna rename this to 2024 Goal Planning. And I'm gonna categorize this into a couple of different sections. And first of all, since I think this is important, I'm gonna put my little star right here in order to keep it there. So for me, what I wanna do is I wanna add a card. As you can see here is the basic founding block of Scrintle. I drag another arrow here and magically, it creates another card. And I could do this even in a circle like this. It's a pretty fun and intuitive system. So I'm gonna delete these, but I just wanted to show you how this works as it is a pretty quick and effective way to make this kind of stuff happen. So you also can create subboards. So literally like a board could be within a board, right? I double clicked in there and then, whoa, that happened. That was crazy. I think that is very useful in some senses. Like for example, I have two different ways that I could go about this. First and foremost, I have a three sort of category setup that I'm gonna go in here with my goal planning for 2024. And I could either do cards on one area here, or I can make three boards that I'm kind of putting here. And in order to make it obvious, I'm actually going to do boards. So going here and pressing add, or even clicking B, then I can make a board here. And this is gonna be called the work goals. And since I'm gonna talk about my company, Rise Productive, that's gonna be my Rise Productive goals for 2024. Then what we can do is we can put a card for each section. So I wanna talk about a couple different things. I wanna talk about video editing. This is gonna be a section for me here, right? So video editing. Then here, I'm gonna put another one, which is going to be thumbnail work. And then over here, I'm going to put writing slash blogs. So within these three categories, these are essentially going to be the building blocks of what I wanna accomplish in 2023, right? I'm doing like a three, three, three approach. We're doing three categories, three goals each, three times. I don't, nope, it's probably just a three, three <laughs> system actually that I think about it. But within this, what I can do is I can simply duplicate this, right? And I can, just to make it simple, connect these together. Now we have two boards. I could duplicate this again. And now after I put this together, we'd have three boards. Okay, so as you can see right here, I'm going to rename this one to personal goals. And then I'm actually gonna remove this name. So then I'm gonna do health goals or growth slash health. I'm gonna do growth slash health goals. And then last but not least, I'm going to make a fun slash entertainment or slash personal one right here. All right, because I wanna accomplish these three categories, right? So within these, then from here, I can go and dive into each of these individually. Like I don't wanna do video editing from a growth or health standpoint. I'd like to lift four days a week. I'd like to sleep seven hours a night. And I'd like to stop work by 6.30 p.m. One of the main issues I have as a business owner is I just don't stop working. So that's on the list. And then for my personal goals, I can go back within here by pressing the arrow. And then I have a couple of goals here. So I'm gonna spend more time with friends. I'd like to build a smart home setup. And I'd like to go to the 2024 Tokyo Olympic 
trials, right? So now I have a basic setup of three different goals that I have in separate boards here. And in order to make this a better experience, what I can do is just for the basic notes of any of these, I can go within the board and then go within any of these and then write out anything that I think would help me achieve this goal. Now that all of these are essentially created, I can go into any of them in specifics and I can click on this to open focus mode. Within here then, you'll see that I'm in this little video editing one, and I can rethink necessarily what I wanna do regarding video editing in the next year. Some of my goals specifically include increasing video editing capacity. And then from there, I can just do some brainstorming, thinking about how much do I want to increase my capacity by? Uh, probably 2X. Why? Money? Fame? Power? Just kidding. No, uh, I would say a more consistent income is the main reason, right? So once I have these kind of thought exercises done, I could then go out here and in a more nice and beautiful format, what I can do is put something like a text here and in nicer, prettier text, put something like consistent income. And then in a more pretty way, put a little cash sign to kind of highlight what the reason for the goal is over every one of these. And then the same goes for the thumbnails. The reason I'm putting this at the beginning is because I already know that there are three different ways that this kind of coincides, right? This consistent income is like a theme across the entirety of this. Because with thumbnails, the main reason I want to improve on thumbnail quality and standards is because I want to expand the team, have a more consistent client base with thumbnail work, and overall, just have a more diverse income stream. And the same reason goes for that in it's that I want a consistent income, right? With a more diverse income stream. Same thing with written slash blogs. My main goal is actually to expand into offering SEO slash blog services. Pairing this with video services is great for blogs. It is great for consistent income in various client relationships. Less clients equals more opportunity for in-depth relationships. And that's another theme that I know I'm going to have in this, right? So I'll see that consistent incomes one. Another one that's really important to me seems to be, let's go here, right? Put both of these. So consistent income for one, consistent income for another, consistent income for this. But also, I really just want to have a better work-life balance. I love my business, but what I do know is that if I don't continue to expand on my opportunities internally, then I really won't have a better work-life balance. So this is kind of a theme that I'm noticing here. So then after writing this out, I can maybe think of putting these on my main page, right? So in the Rise Productive Goals, I'm gonna just grab these really quick, go back to that main board, and I'm gonna see where the different goals align. So for growth and health, lifting four times a week, I want to do this because I wanna get back to being a little bit more fit. I'll be honest, I very much enjoyed being in shape as a former college athlete, and I still kind of am, but I miss that college athlete sort of in shapeness, I won't lie. So feeling physically better is totally the case. Having a better work-life balance is also on the table. The reason I wanna sleep seven hours a night is because I wanna feel physically better, for sure. So for these same reasons, I'm actually gonna select these two and say that this is on the table. And stop working by 6.30 p.m. Uh, it's definitely for better work-life balance. And tangentially, it's to build better relationships. I'm gonna put that one down too because it's good to talk to people and the more you work, the less you kind of do. So then we can go to this main page and I'm gonna grab all of these here. Feeling physically better, building better relationships, better work-life balance. Interesting, all right. And then for fun and personal, I wanna hang out with friends more frequently. Why? Interesting, seems like I wanna build better relationships this year. Okay, I like that. I wanna build a smart home. Yeah, I kinda of wanna get nerdy into that whole Apple ecosystem sort of thing. The reason for that is I just, I want life to be more convenient. <laughs> Increased life convenience is definitely on the table, so that's a new one. And then go to the Tokyo 2024 Olympic trials. Uh, the reason for that is uh, doing things on my bucket list. So this is just gonna be experiencing life. As last year, I went to a Kansas City Chiefs game for the first time, I really enjoyed that. The year before that, I went to the World Championships for track, that was really fun. So these are on the list too. So let's go back here. And what you'll notice is just in doing this visually, I kind of have an interesting way of looking at things, right? So just for a note, if you hold Command or Control and zoom in and out, you're able to zoom. And then from here, if I press M, I can toggle, so I can move over here and press M again. I can grab this, move it over. 
press M, move over here. All right, so let's figure out what are the basically themes of my goals for the year. So it seems like I care about having a consistent income, having a better work-life balance, building better relationships, feeling physically better and experiencing life. Now, where does this exist the most and where does it kind of overlap? I actually kind of think better work-life balance might be similar to experiencing life, right? So seems like what's most important in all of my categories is a better work-life balance, building better relationships. Those are like the number two, those are one and two on my list. So then what I can really focus on is what to focus on in 2024. Better work-life balance, building better relationships, and I would say, you know, you can change this color to make it cooler, whatever you want, I'm gonna do yellow. And I would say that for me, or number three on my list is gonna be the whole consistent income thing. Uh, that's something that as a business owner is always like stressing me out if I have or don't have one. So I'm gonna put this on the list because that's how I feel about it. But as you'll notice, what I was able to do is make a couple different boards and I could go more in depth in this. Like I could go and write into each and every one more, figure out my goals a little bit higher. And then from there, format this to be a little bit prettier, you know, but uh, this is kind of a bare bones way that I planned my goals for 2024. And for me, I figured out that the three main things I wanna have are these based off of a little bit of a thought exercise that I walked with you through on this video. And thanks to Scrittinal for this. Honestly, I, I don't have this capability inside of something like Notion. Just text doesn't work the same as a visual layout. So I appreciate it. And there are a way larger number of things that I didn't really get into in this video, but this is just a basic goal planning system that you can use. What are three categories of life? What are three things that you wanna get out of that? And then figuring out three from that that were the most frequent. So it is really a 333 method. Thanks again to Scrintle for sponsoring this video. And thank you all for watching this far into the video. If you like this one, make sure to check out more content like this on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.